Before performing this procedure, ensure that the gradient proportioning valve is turned off to prevent siphoning of mobile phase. To do this, press the Diagnostics key from the 2695 main screen. The diagnostic screen appears. Next, press the other Tests key and select Turn off GPV from the list. Then press OK. A message box appears indicating that the gradient proportioning valve is off. Open the solvent management compartment doors. First, remove the plunger seal wash line from the solvent reservoir. From the 2695 main screen, press the Diagnostic Screen key then press the Other Test Screen key. Select Head Removal and Replacement and press OK. Press Enter to display the head choices and select the head you want to rebuild. Press the Start Screen key and the screen displays instructions on how to remove the head components. Remove the seal wash tubes from the head manifold. Then. Push the release ring in and turn it counterclockwise. Press the Continue Screen key and the 2695 positions the head components for removal and displays further instructions. Turn the head nut counterclockwise several turns to remove it. Once the head nut is removed, you can pull the head and plunger assembly straight out to remove them. Separate the three components, the head, the seal wash, and the plunger. Remove the washer from the back side of the seal wash housing to access the plunger wash seal. Using the seal removal tool, remove the plunger wash seal. Then remove the two wash tube seals from the sides of the seal wash housing. Finally, remove the face seal from the front of the seal wash housing. Thoroughly wet the new wash tube seals and the sides of the seal wash housing with methanol. Press the seals into the housing with the spring side facing in. Thoroughly wet the seal insertion tool the new plunger wash seal, and the seal wash housing in methanol. Slide the plunger wash seal onto the seal insertion tool with the spring side exposed and insert the plunger wash seal into the back side of the housing. Thoroughly wet the new face seal and the front side of the seal wash housing with methanol. Install the new face seal into the housing. Replace the flat washer on top of the plunger wash seal. Inspect the plunger to make sure it is clean and not damaged. If the plunger is dirty, clean the plunger with a fine pumice to remove any coating. Wash the plunger thoroughly with methanol to remove all traces of pumice. Be careful not to scratch the surface of the head when removing the seals. Use the nylon-tipped end of the seal removal tool to extract the plunger seal from the head. Place the head, new plunger seal, and seal insertion tool on a lint-free absorbent towel and thoroughly wet with methanol. Slide the plunger seal onto the seal insertion tool with the spring side exposed and insert the seal into the head. Again, being careful not to scratch the surface of the head, use a blunt tool to remove the face seals from the head. Wet the new face seals and the openings in the head thoroughly with methanol. 
place the face seals into the openings on the head and press them into place using a flat object that covers the whole area of the seal. Do not use your thumb or fingernail to press the seals into place, as they may not sit flush in the head. Once all the seals have been replaced and the plunger is clean, you are ready to reassemble the head. Wet the plunger and inside cavity of the seal wash thoroughly with methanol. Slide the seal wash assembly onto the plunger, making sure the face seal is toward the front end of the plunger. Wet the plunger and inside cavity of the head thoroughly with methanol, then slide the head onto the plunger, aligning the head pin into the seal wash. Press the Continue screen key and the 2695 displays instructions to reinstall the components. First, insert the plunger and head assembly into the cavity with the J-tube facing down. Replace the head nut and turn it clockwise until the head nut is tight. Return the release ring to the run position by turning it clockwise and pulling it out. Press the Continue screen key and the 2695 engages the plunger. Firmly press the seal wash lines into the manifold to properly seat the lines into the new wash tube seals. Press the continue screen key again to repeat the steps to rebuild the second head. After rebuilding the second head, press the close screen key to exit this diagnostic. You can now replace the seal wash inlet line into the seal wash reservoir. Before continuing, it will be necessary to open the gradient proportioning valve. Press OK to return the gradient proportioning valve to its normal open state. You will be informed to stand by while the GPV resets itself. To prime the solvent management system, you will need to perform a dry prime. Begin by pressing the Menu Status key to enter the status screen. Press the Direct Function screen key and the Direct Functions menu appears. Select Dry Prime, then press OK. The Dry Prime dialog box appears. Press the screen key corresponding to the solvent line you want to prime. Then press Continue. Next, open the vent valve and insert the priming syringe. Withdraw the syringe plunger to pull solvent through the tubing. You may need to exert force to pull the air and solvent through the system. Continue until you pull all the air through the solvent line into the syringe. Repeat the dry prime for each solvent line you want to use. Then close the prime vent valve. Press the screen key corresponding to the solvent line with which you want to prime the system. Waters recommends that you prime using the solvent with the lowest viscosity to help purge air from the lines, especially if the inline vacuum degasser is installed. In the Enter a Duration field, enter the length of time in minutes to prime the solvent management system. Start with a value of 5 minutes. Press Continue. The solvent management system begins to operate. At the end of the priming period, the solvent management system turns off and the separations module enters the idle mode. If you replace the seal wash chamber seals, you need to prime the seal wash lines to remove any air from the lines. To do this, First attach the syringe adapter to the syringe. Remove the inlet filter from the seal wash inlet tube. Then insert the syringe adapter into the seal wash outlet line. Starting at the main screen on the 2695, press the diagnostic screen key to access the main diagnostics menu. Press the Prime Seal Wash screen key, then press the Start screen key 
and the seal wash pump begins to operate. Pull on the syringe to create a vacuum, and the solvent should move quickly through the seal wash lines. Once all the air is removed, press the HALT screen key to stop the seal wash prime. Press the CLOSE key to return to the Diagnostics menu. Reinstall the inlet filter to the seal wash line.